Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the rainbow transition. So if you don't know, some of you don't know how to make a rainbow transition, but that's not, but not a worry. I can help you with that. So to start off, you need a base color. Let's say you pick red. Let's say, oops, sorry. So you need to first do this alpha lock. All right, cover it in red. Let's say you pick red. All right, full max, you'd pick another brush. Now what you need to do is slowly get your brush to the nearest color as possible. Like, like, like this is supposed to be orange. So it goes to orange. And now you slowly start doing this until it isn't in a perfect rainbow. That's my little sister. Why is she literally crying? God for damn sake! Nice tantrum you pull out there. For the lo love of God, she pulls out a tantrum. Alright. Like that. For the love of God, my family. Why is she crying? Can you, like, mute her or something? I'm saying mute her. I'm in the middle of a video. So, you see? You start to get your gradients like this. What? Yeah, yeah, but I'm take, taking, like, a break. Yeah. Well, because I'm going to take a break, please. Okay. Distract her for a minute. Oh, my Lord. In the middle of a video, she has to start whining. Imagine. Just starting whining in the middle of something. All right, there. I put her on wolf food. Alright, and then you slowly get your gradients all the way down until you don't get to purple. If you don't get to purple, that's fine. But at least you need to get to navy blue. Then, I mean, and also do not leave any patches like that. Don't, don't leave that. That just makes your art style look bad. You need at least a base color for this. Like, you need a transaction. Even if the lines are just messy, whatever, just... Even if the lines are messy, just you need to make this transition. And that is to cover as much ground as you can, not leaving any of the red behind. See, look what I'm doing here. This is how I make my rainbow look. I always use it in, like, many rainbow transparencies. But if you want to make rainbow accessories, this is the same for all. And like, slowly, slowly get it like that. See, so you need something like that. And you need the blur to max level and start blurring in. And then, there you have it. A transparent hue. Thanks for watching. And there you have it, a full rainbow. <laughs> Goodbye.